So unfortunately here, um, you can kind of tell that I forgot to turn the mic on. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is just after we watched the sunrise at the beach. And I was just giving you a rundown of the camping trip we've got coming up tonight at um, Coffs Harbour, Mooney Beach. Amy was in the process of cooking us breakfast, but she's been, or she was greeted by a friend. Um, see if I can find them. Ran off. There he is. Michael. I don't actually know who. We don't know whose dog he is. Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> He's super friendly. Uh, as you can probably tell, we made it to camp. Um, from all the driving last night um, for Mooney Reflections Holiday Park in Mooney Beach. It's a really nice place. Hey, like that's the setup we got on right now. Just a rooftop, real, real easy and basic. But that's working a treat. Um, plan today is really kind of basic. We're gonna hit um, Red Rock Beach and maybe the shops around here. Hey. <laughs> He's awesome. Uh, yeah, just going to have a bit of a chill day. Tomorrow morning we're going to hit Red Rock. Uh, not Red Rock, um, we're going to hit Pebbly Beach and go from there. So I'll chuck in a few clips from throughout the day. All right, so progress update. Um, in the last clip, I said that me and Amy were gonna go to Red Rock and get some lunch. We got a bit sidetracked, thought we'd do a little bit of adventuring and exploring, and somehow this has happened. I uh, went off a little little road, already done one track. I was like, oh yeah, we'll just keep going. Yeah, this, um can say this this black soil here it's um it's, it's quite soft hey it's um not ideal but i'm not overly stressed we got the winch we are moving i've just got to get to that ground over there to turn around and then we're just basically gonna beeline it in second gear low range and just get the hell out of here so i'm gonna give amy the camera she's gonna be filming girl while i Max tracks myself out of here. So here she is. So we've got all four max tracks under all the wheels. We're just gonna give it hell. Pray. There is a tree. I can use the winch. We will get out. We're just trying this. I think we're past the point of panic now. We're more or less at the point of it's kind of a little bit fun, a bit laughing, because we know we'll get out. But we are three hours from home with no one down here. So it's not it's not ideal. I am not even going to entertain. That is probably the best feeling I reckon I've had for a long time. Just where it grabbed and it just dropped out. But now on this hard, so we're going to turn around and basically second gear low range and we're just going to try and push and limmy bash our way through. Because we know that we will get out using max tracks, but Jesus. I always thought Max Tracks were one of the things that, you know, everyone says you need them, 
but far out for a first time Max Tracks user, that was definitely, definitely the way to go. You know, it takes a bit of getting used to on how to use them properly, but I can say safely that is the way to go. Didn't even have to think about using the winch. So I'll probably give you back to Amy Cam and try and suss out a bit of a route so we can get, get on out of here and get some food. So we're out. Um, I ended up having to wave someone off the side of the road who was also bogged, or had a mate who was bogged, because it has such a tight grip on the car. I'll show you what the actual car looks like in a minute. It's pretty bad. Like, I washed it before we came on this trip, and now it's, it is bad. I, I'm gonna have to spend at least a few hours, like, giving us a good, thorough clean. But um, we got the other guy out. Unfortunately, um, we didn't get any footage of that, but it, it, was, it was hectic. Like, you know, the car is to safely say, Pretty, pretty fairly gone, eh? Like. kind of picking up from where we left off yesterday uh, as you saw we were at Red Rock uh, we had our lunch and after that we kind of went sh to shops because I ran out, of, um, ran out of space on my main SD card for this camera so I went and I picked up another one now I've realized I've got no battery in the camera so buying the SD card really didn't do very much so we're gonna just go with how long we've got and I might end up going to GoPro footage for the rest but it's the last day of the trip uh, the car is absolutely smashed. Like, it is royally, royally gone at this point. Like, it was so clean before we came, too. It was so clean. So now we've got, um, it's last day, so we're going to hit... Uh, Station Creek Beach on the way back up to Queensland and might go over to Pebbly Beach just to have a look. Uh, we can't stay there obviously but I'd love to in the future so I'll uh, just go over there have a look see what it's like might have like burgers on the beach or something. I'm uh, definitely put, gonna put the drone up there because it's gonna be amazing. Uh, Amy's just cooking breakfast now and she's got she's got friend Friend has returned, she's in already, but that's kind of, you got a bit of a tub back set up for this trip. It's worked really, really well, really, really well. Um, but no, it's been amazing so far. I love Coffs Harbour. I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. And it's good to come back, you know, when I'm a little bit older. I got my own car, my own setup, and just kind of have a look at like how it's all how I've grown and how the places I've used to come as a kid have grown so I'm beyond chuffed and there are so many beaches here it is lovely um, I can't I genuinely can't wait to come back I'm probably gonna come back with like a few mates and uh, like bring my mountain bike because it's meant to be really nice like mountain bike trails um, but yeah uh, we'll pick up at Pebbly Beach or along the road to Pebbly Beach Road trip progress update. We have made it to Pebbly Beach. It's actually really easy. I was kind of stressed about it, to be honest. Um, so I've never done anything like this. It's my second time on a beach, and obviously a fresh water crossing is all a bit to undertake, but we made it, and it is bloody lovely. Um, we were gonna have lunch here, but you can't actually get your car on the beach, which I didn't know. So we're probably going to go back over the crossing and have it just on Station Creek Bridge, 
up Station Creek Beach, but it is really, really nice here. Definitely gonna chuck the drone up and maybe go, I'd like to say put my feet in the water, but it's gonna be like three degrees. So we're gonna skip that, but this is bloody beautiful. Um, I'm unreal, I'm really keen to come back here and actually like stay because some of the pictures here will be so good on the rooftop, like open up and you just see the ocean. So I'm gonna go have a bit of a play and I'll pick up the camera later. I guess this would be kind of considered an island, maybe. You know, you gotta do a water crossing to get here. It is segregated from the mainland, so I'm gonna call it an island. It's really nice, especially to be accessible by car. Amy's showing us her yeah. shell collection. She seems she got a bit carried away. <laughs> the camera will like to focus. Oh, really nice. Really pretty. Wow. So we've got back over to Station Creek Beach now, just to have a little bit of lunch. Check out the old girl. Lunch set up live. <laughs> yeah, baby. We've got a hell of a view at the moment. You see, we have got... We have got a four hour drive back to um, Queensland, so we're gonna make this relatively quick, but... Man, I'm just living today. Eh? It's so nice here. Like in Queensland, you don't have these many drivable beaches this close and stacked together. So it's really nice. Um, I'm trying to get the drone up and running. It needs to do some calibration and um, shit. So I'm just gonna try and get that running and that way I can get my drone shots hot heavily. But one thing that has kind of ticked me off a little bit is my Dashi awning I've got. It got caught in the zipper. So I had to cut it. It's just not ideal to be honest. You don't pay 300 bucks branded stuff and then you got to cut it with scissors. But it is what it is, you keep moving I guess. But yeah, we're gonna have a bit of food, um, hopefully get the drone up and live it up. Let's get it. On the old chef's menu today, we've got bacon, eggs, coles, beef brisket burgers, jumbo crunchy rolls, broken drone at Amy's holding, and a view to feed a thousand. Loves it. So that's a wrap on all the beach antics for today um, and for the overall trip. It's been absolutely awesome. I'm so beyond chuffed that we got this little break from all this rain and we decided to book this impulsive trip and come down to sunny, ironically sunny coughs. And it's been beyond amazing. We stayed at Mooney Beach um, Reflections Holiday Park. That was our kind of base camp and it was unreal. You know, the campsite was so easy, fires were great. 
um, then we just like dotted around to Red Rock and you know here and it's been you know really really nice time uh, now we just got to put some air back up in these tires air up hit the road uh, we've got a three hour drive back to um, Queensland and hopefully we'll be back out in a few more weeks but I am super super chuffed like the car didn't let me down she's a bit dirty we got bogged a few times but I think for sure this has been one of the most memorable trips that I've done especially by myself it's been surreal so uh, I guess thank you thanks everyone for watching um, I've really enjoyed making this it's been awesome fun even Amy's been on the camera a heap and hopefully that we can chalk it all up and it'll be somewhat entertaining but thank you all if you stuck through um yeah see ya